don't need to waste your time. I will never talk. I will never give you canine fools any information. You were lucky to get me napping. One of my gut frailties, I'm afraid. You may beat me with a rubber mouse, rub my fur the wrong way, even give me a bath, but you will never break my spirit! I was there. I was one of the agents chasing you that day. <laughs> we tried to stop you. No! Not the rocket chair testing facility! Don't go in there! <laughs> Medic! I need 90 cc's of catnip! Stat! It was horrible. I wouldn't wish that fate on anybody. Not even you, Catastrophe. I would. Angus? Well, I can't help it. I've got to tell you, this tail is a dangerous beastie. It was no small feat, laddie, to work out the technology to reattach it. I, uh, accidentally cloned a sheep in the process. You've no idea what I've endured. I've had to study diagrams on cat butts. Thousands of them. I've been seeing cat butts in my sleep. Did you ever look really closely at a cat butt? Look at it! Look at it! Angus, please. You're ruining the moment. My day. I don't trust that crazy dog with the bad accent. But to have back my tail, I would kiss a big girl. Rejected the host. Oh, it gets worse, lads. I made the regenerative solution too strong. I don't understand it. I followed the directions on the box. Oh, it said one teaspoon growth enzyme for 74E, and I used a tablespoon. My tail's gonna grow really big. We've got to find your tail and fast.
has two tails but which one is mine <laughs> I'll soon find out which is which wait I got a better idea I'll say something that will make scribble wag his tail and you jab the other one you can't do that you will let my tail I won't allow it okay scribble how would you like a cookie or a bath in caustic please it scribble how would you like your belly rubbed with a chainsaw uh, how would you like to roll around in a big, stinky pile of garbage? He would like that? No, I've got you, me beastie! Keep your balls off my precious tail, you three sniffing savages! Come back, my beauty. We belong together! Ah, Angus, could you please let me down now? Spy dogs, we've got to catch that tail. Search everywhere. Agent Mitzi to base. I've sighted the monster. It's huge, and it's got scribble. Giant Tail seems to be heading straight for the Hugeopolis Umpire State Building. We're on it, Mitz. Angus is developing an antidote. Since the beastie is so huge, old Angus has developed the perfect reduction solution. Perhaps it is fate. I cannot force you to love me. If you love something enough, set it free. You know, maybe someday you will come back to me. But for now, go, 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 and be free. Call me. Don't forget to ride. Oh, I'm gonna be sack. Besides. Uh, Having a bionic tail does have certain uh, benefits. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Never do a cat a favor. Ungrateful oh, beasties. The tail got away. I wonder if we'll ever find it. Oh, Sally, I just love your new ponytail. I'm not wearing a ponytail. <laughs>
driving me into your toilets. Tonight's broadcast is called Future Plans. I'll look ahead at dog kind in the years to come. But first, this word from our sponsor. Hey, Angus, you like rawhide, don't you? I sure do, Jim. But all that chewing, 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 right? You can say that again. Uh, uh, oh, uh, what blinking camera am I on? Well, chewing is ancient history now, thanks to the Mastomatic Pie Queasy Bob. Wait, what are you doing with that? Just pop that tough old rawhide bone in the top, and in seconds, you'll have a delicious and creamy rawhide shake. That's blinking disgusting. Try one, Angus. I think I'll save mine for later, Jim. That's the Mastomatic. Order yours today. Void where prohibited. It should be prohibited everywhere. Rawhide and net acid not included. Okay, we're back to our program about the future. As you know, great strides are being made in our eternal war against fleas. <laughs> we devils. All part of some great plan, I suppose. But not my plan. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, hey. Look at the little sissy bug, eh? That's it! You tear his nose off and swallow it, me proud beauty! Oh, what a girl. The kind you'd like to take home and meet Mum. And maybe teach Mum a thing or two. Mum with her. Is your homework done, Angus? And her, how are your studies coming along, Angus? Hey, Mummy! I'd like you to meet this giant ladybug! She's here to cram my school books down your throat! I'm all right now! Let go of me! I'm a couple of psychotic at the swords, and the next thing you know, they're calling you a blinking psychotic! Now, here's a prototype of a fire hydrant of the future. We all know what this is for. It's a perfectly natural thing. Not nasty or bad. Certainly nothing to laugh about. Of course, I'm talking about... Going wee wee. <laughs> Shut your kibble hole! <laughs> Outdoor bathrooms like these are a thing of the past. We're not savages, you know. Check out these features. There's a full-sized bowl and a sink so you can wash up a bit. Some bathroom tissue for crying out loud. And what's wrong with a little pleasant music? No other curtain for a little privacy on the privy. Now that's a proper facility. All righty then. Let's have a look over here. As you know, cats are evil. My research strongly suggests that they may have evolved from scorpions. Let me show you how this kitty dish of the future works. Oh, we have a caller. Go ahead, caller. Angus, this is Ralph. Stop telling everybody that cats are evil. They're wonderful animals. They make great pets and... Oh, no, we lost the call. Let's take another. Go ahead, Gola. I can't believe I finally got through. Your question? This is Molly Kathleen from Venice Beach, California. Your question, caller? Can I send a shout-out to Carol and Dave and Tracy and... Just ask your blinking question! Like, will dogs ever, like, let humans know how smart we really are? <laughs> That's actually a pretty good question. Let's have a look at the computer. So far, it's been easy to conceal our intelligence from people. But as time goes on, it won't be so simple. You see, our brains are getting larger, and human brains are getting smaller. As we begin to walk upright, people will revert to all fours. A hundred thousand years from now, our intelligence will be obvious even to the pin-headed pathetic creatures that humans will become. Creatures we might even keep as pets. Charlie, don't drink out of the toilet! Or maybe, maybe we'll enslave the humans in a world where dogs rule the earth! Get your paws off me, you darn dirty dog! Then we'll see how they like kibble and leashes and flea mats! <laughs> <clears throat> I've been asked to read the following notice. We will not at any time be enslaving the human race. Signed, Dog Zero. Well, if you say so. But never is an awful long time. They used to say they'd never let Angus have an atomic bomb. But they managed to get one or two, didn't they? <laughs> Let's take another call. Hi, Angus. I wanted to ask you about the future of fun. I mean, you haven't said anything about fun yet. 
Fun? I just showed you a stockpile of thermonuclear weapons. What's more fun than that? Well, I just thought... I know, I know. Kid stuff. Old Uncle Angus knows you wee lads and lassies need to have fun. Let's roll the tape. The car of the future will be loads of fun, fully equipped with extra windows that will let ten dogs hang their heads out at once. There's even a special option for you dogs that prefer chasing cars to riding in them. Now, what about those days when you want to play, but you just don't have the energy? How about a ball that fetches itself? Run fun. That did look fun. Now, there's one thing we all know about people. They taste terrible. But we've secretly been adding special chemicals to their soaps and shampoos for years. So that one day, not only will they not taste so revolting, they'll actually be pretty yummy. Mine tastes like butterscotch. Mine tastes like ice cream. Mine tastes like roadkill possum. Oh, roadkill possum. My mum used to make a pretty fine roadkill possum. It would melt in your mouth. Oh, I come to think of it, mum's roadkill possum would even melt through the plate. Oh, no. Aye, those were happy times. Someone's at the door. Who would interrupt this broadcast? Mum? I'm guess me by. Mum, I'm right in the middle of a broadcast here. I know, honey. That's wonderful. Well, then, I'll just take this dish of roadkill possum and leave. Well, you can't just come barns and in while I'm trying to do a roadkill possum. Well, maybe I can take a wee break and have just a taste. Enjoy it, honey. I'll talk to the camera for you. Hello, I'm Angus's mum, and I'd like to tell you a story of when Angus was just a wee pup and we were trained up potty training. In fact, I even have the most adorable picture here of Angus on his potty chair. <laughs> have you lost your mind, woman? I'm a respected scientist. You can't go showing pictures of my backside and potty training and... <laughs> I'm sorry, Angus. It's just that you are such a cute little dickens. I'll go. Oh, you don't have to go. Really? Really. In fact, maybe you can help me with my next experiment. Well, okay, dear. If you think I can. Sure you can. I have this ladybug that I want to enlarge up to ooh, about your size. Take it from me. Don't mess with Angus's mother. She's crazy. <laughs> Say, Angus, have you ever had a tough stain on a piece of furniture? I sure have, Jim. Just like on my favorite chair. Well, just watch what this really good cleaning fluid in a spray can do. That was my favorite chair! Oh, gee, well, I guess it's not guaranteed for all materials. Say, Jim, have you ever been annoyed by pests? I mean, really big pests. Oh, I sure have, Angus. Then you ought to try my new pest be gone. <laughs> Works like a charm. Order yours today. Hello. Collect all from my tail. Yes, I will accept it. Hello, tail. How are you? Good, thank you. Are you coming home for the holidays? I keep your room just the way you like it. Uh, oh, I see. You want money. <laughs> Look, I do not complain when you quit college, you let your hair grow, you get the tattoo, but I think it's time you decide what you want to do with your life. And I... Hello, hello, tail. Don't hang up on me. I... Oh, my tail! My beautiful tail. Where do I go wrong?